Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys the basics of tweening and what's its purpose. Now, first off, I'm going to make an object. So there's my object. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to make it into a symbol so the object stays in one place. And say I want to go across the screen. How I taught you guys is to hit F6, move it a little, move it a little, move it a little. And this is very time consuming. And just for it to go across the screen rather quickly, in fact, in one second because we're at 24 frames per second there's 24 frames that took me about I'd say maybe a minute to make and we have a wheel going across really fast now say I want it like 60 frames that'd take even longer and I'd have to be slower with it and more precise what tweening does say we want it 60 frames right click on 60 insert keyframe drag this across the screen to where you want it so I want it right about there and then if we right click on this one then do create classic tween then it does this and that's what I wanted now we could take that and do this where I'll bring that right about there. Take both of these, put them there. Take the brush tool. And create car out of it highlight it all make this a symbol click OK then have it there go to about 60 frames insert keyframe drag it all the way over whoops drag it all the way over there hit here create classic tween make a new layer give it a uh, road and give it a background like that and then what we have is this 
So we have a car going across like that. Now, to do that, that would have took a lot longer to get 60 frames to do that. Tweening makes it nice and fast. <coughs> but another thing tweening can do is this will always be like this, and now we could screw around with the symbols. So if I click on the car, well, double click on the car, so now I'm inside the car symbol. Double click on the wheel, so now I'm on the wheel symbol. And then double click on it again. Whoops, actually, not again. Highlight all of it. Yeah, highlight all of it. Zoom into it. Get the transform tool. Hit F6 and rotate it two times. See how like well like two like little like see how it stops there, then it stops there. So rotate it two to the right. F6. Two to the right again. Two to the right again. So now this which was at top is now over there. F6. Two to the right again. Two to the right again. Two to the right again. So now the wheel went 180 degrees. Two to the right again. Two to the right again. I screwed up a little there, but you won't be able to see that that much. Two again. Two again. Two again. And now it made 360. But the last one, actually, you don't want to. You want to get rid of the last one, making it 360. So just remove that frame, which is right there. And you want to stop where it's right before it makes the 360, because it's going to loop back over to the first one, which is already 360 degrees. So now if we click out of that, because we made that inside the symbol, we also made it for that wheel too. Click out of that. Zoom out. And then if we were to test the movie, now it looks like a car moving with wheels, while the wheel's rotating. And if we were to try to make that in just doing frame after frame after frame without any tweening, that would have taken probably about a good one or two hours just to make it perfect like this. This took not even ten minutes to make it. And that's step one of the basics of tweening.